bars and, and pubs and stuff like that in, in Ireland, the big thing now is craft, craft beers. It is the big fad. It is. Welcome to the A Midlife Traveler podcast, where we want you to go see the world, discover interesting stories about people, places, and practical advice to help you plan your next vacation. Hey, hello, everybody. It's Laura with the Midlife Traveler, and I am thrilled that you have chosen to listen to our podcast today. Before we get to today's episode, I just seriously, I wasn't sucking up to you. I, I'm actually thrilled that you're listening. Recently, we've gotten some great reviews and comments and listener feedback, and it's just really made me feel good and energized about the information and stories we're putting out there. And it sounds like some people might be planning some trips to Ireland in their future, which I think is super cool. But anyways, onwards to today's episode. As you may know, the A Midlife Traveler is all about exploring travel destinations through the voices, the stories, and the opinions of locals who live there. And we are doing an Ireland series and a Scotland series at the moment. And today we are continuing our Ireland series and the topic of craft beer. If you've been listening to the prior two episodes, you will have heard how craft beer is this mega trend that is getting rolling in Ireland. And you heard from local Irishmen, Pat and Stephen and Killarney talk about what happened when the iconic Guinness tap handle was replaced with the local Killarney stout in one of the popular bars in downtown Killarney. And then you heard from Pat McGrath explain a bit more about some of the local craft breweries in and around the Killarney area and today we're going to move to a different area we're going to move to Cork and you are going to hear from a brilliant smart talented woman named Debbie B who works at the Metropole Hotel in Cork as the food and beverage supervisor and she has an amazing knowledge of the restaurant scene the music scene the art scene and of course the local craft beers that you find in and around town. So today, if you are a person that's into craft beers, you're in for a treat. You are going to hear Debbie B talk about some cool places that you might want to go visit on your next Ireland trip. In particular, she talks about Blacks of Kinsale, Franciscan Well, the Rising Suns, and the West Cork Brewing Company. And a couple of things that I pulled out of this episode that I really, really like. One is this idea of, I think she called it poutine, which is some form of Irish moonshine that sounds like might be coming soon from Blacks of Kinsale. And also one of my new favorite words, which is madaza. I'd never heard that word before until Debbie said it. And I say it horribly because I have an American accent, madaza. She says it way, way better. Basically, it means amazing. Anyways, it's a great story. It really rounds out a good perspective of the craft brewing scene in Ireland. And the next episode following this one, you will get to hear more from Debbie about the Cork area and some other things to do because it is a place that I would highly recommend people who are into that urban hip trend in a modern cultural scene would probably really enjoy going and spending an evening or two in Cork. Like when it comes to bars and, and pubs and stuff like that in, in Ireland, the big thing now is craft, craft beers. It is the big fad, it is. There's actually a really, really cool brewery outside of Cork City down in Kinsale. Yeah. And it's called Blacks of Kinsale. And they literally, like that now, they started microbrewing themselves. They come up with this IPA. They was like, do you know what? It's good. They got their license, they started marketing it. They've actually gotten so big now that they are actually making their own gin, their own poutine. So they've actually made poutine for the Irish market. That's what legal. Poutine would have been um it would have been a liqueur that was made bootlegger style years and years oh, ago. Oh, we call that moonshine. Yeah. Moonshine. Okay. And it was made of potatoes, of course, it being Ireland, it has to be made out of potatoes. Everything was done with potatoes, but it was 90% alcohol. It was completely illegal. I've only ever tasted the unpurified once and I'm lucky to be alive because it is so strong. <laughs> um, but they actually have come up with, spoke with Diageo and they've come up with their own form of it. It's only 40% alcohol. 
so they've come up with a milder version of it and it's now been sold in the Irish market hopefully soon but there's what's the brand name on that blacks 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 of conceal and they actually do small they it's a really really nice small brewery so you can literally go in i have actually did the brewery tour they don't often do it to the public but if you if you ask them nicely enough they will oh. and i went in and it's so small it's literally off a side of a cottage and you can see all the tanks they go through everything you can taste the beers that's what i like about it is because it is small but in the city center itself there is two breweries there's franciscan well so they make the chieftain which is a pale ale the very famous one the rebel red that's a red ale and you have Firewise, which is a wheat I beer. I tried the Rebel Red. The Rebel Red. It's, it's quite good. Nice. It's I've very, very popular. Like I wouldn't yeah. be a big fan of it myself. I'm more of a cider drinker. But in my in my work, you have to learn everything about the industry. And then that was originally done by two brothers. And they set up Franciscan Well. They came up with their own idea. You can actually go to the Franciscan Well bar. And you behind the bar, you can actually see the tanks. You can see the brewery itself as you're having your drink. It's only a 10 minute walk here from the Metropole, so if you wanted to stay here, we'd be gladly show you where to go. Now, there's another guy. He, his name is Billy McCabe. He's a big famous guy around the city centre because he literally owns every bar. Literally. Really? He's, yeah. And he cares about Cork and he cares about people off Cork. Oh, so it's so a good thing that he owns all the It's a good thing. Bo- yes, okay, yes, okay. it's a good thing. Um, he actually opened up his own bar called the Rising Suns. So you can go in and have a pizza and a pint, but it's also a brewery as well. Oh, that's a cool yeah, concept. Yeah, and the, what's really, really nice about it is the beers and pints that he's made, he's kind of kept it to local names. So he's actually come up with his own stout. So it's kind of like Guinness, and it's called Madaza. Now, Madaza is an old Cork term saying everything's amazing. Everything's Madaza. So it's pretty cool, and it actually tastes like coffee. So there's a um, a brewery. It's got It's just the number eight. Number eight? Ooh, I haven't heard that one now. I mean, literally, the, their logo's a circle with a big eight, and there's oh, just I a little bit of... That, and they have hilarious names. They name their, their that's beers. That's the West Cork Brewing Company. That's down uh, near Clannacilty. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. The home of Michael Collins. So, of course, it's, it's going to be good. They're going to be good. Yeah. Yeah. So, of course, a quick reminder that we do post show notes and blogs on our website, amidlifetraveler.com. So, if you're looking for hot links to any of these microbreweries or locations or resources that we mentioned, please visit amidlifetraveler.com. 